Thanks. So hey, everyone, I'm um, just really happy to share uh, with you Terminus. Uh, before I actually talk about this, though, I need to give you some context. I work for a company called Terminal, with all the vowels taken out, and we do e-ink devices, and that's what you're seeing here. <clears throat> e-ink devices uh, are just a simple technology, right? Just a simple hardware construction. It's a dumb device uh, that basically just renders image information. So you can send anything down to this, and we'll render it for you. And what's really nice about this is that you can get really creative in terms of like what you want to uh, create, think of whatever kind of data that you want to put onto this device. You can do it very easily. So what is Terminus then? <clears throat> well, Terminus is our open source solution. Uh, we call it BYOS, so build your own server. And this is our reference implementation so that you can have an open source solution to actually uh, uh, render data on these uh, ink devices. It's private and secure kind of by default, right, because you get to run the server locally, you have your device locally, it's all on your own network, so it's kind of a closed system. It's 100% open source, which I'm really proud of. It's something that I've cared about for many years. I've been doing open source for over uh, almost two decades now. And the other thing that ties into this is the unbreakable pledge as a company, uh, something I'm also very proud of, because basically what we're saying is, hey, if we ever go uh, under or um, can't, uh, sustain ourselves anymore or just get bought out, like we'll open source everything uh, so that you'll have everything in, in addition to all the open source stuff that we're doing right now. So in terms of tech stack, uh, it's basically built on Ruby, of course. Uh, but the thing that I love about it most is it, it, it blends the best of Ruby, in my opinion, which is object composition with functional composition. This lends itself really well because for the, text, or the web stack, we're using Hanami. That blends in really well with that kind of design philosophy. As for the front end type stuff, we try to keep it really light in terms of JavaScript. We're using HTMX, so we can just send uh, partial information server rendered uh, back and forth. And then just using pure CSS, because modern browsers have come along so far that you can actually lean into that and have a really good clean design without actually having to bring in a really complex uh, uh, framework. Lastly, if for some reason, I know we're all Ruby Rubyists, but if you just don't want to deal with any of that, you can just grab the Docker image that we build and you can run it that way. In terms of architecture, uh, uh, Terminus sits right here in the left-hand quadrant of our entire architectural stack, uh, which is the DIY uh, web server. And that allows you to communicate and send information to your device. So what's really nice about this is you can also proxy uh, between uh, uh, Terminus and the core server, and you can actually bring in images and all the uh, plugins and recipes and stuff that we have in the core server down to your device as well. In terms of setup, setup's actually uh, fairly simple. Um, when you get your device and you unbox it, um, you're going to want to connect to the uh, captive Wi-Fi portal. It's going to show up as TRMNL here. Uh, you'll connect to it with your SSID of your network, uh, fill in your password, and the critical thing here is you're going to put in your server address. Uh, because by default, the device is going to want to talk to our core server, and you want to talk to Terminus that's running locally. And so you put in your IP address, connect to that, and then uh, uh, it starts syncing. And the, the, the syncing it's doing is actually a basic JSON data, data API. It's very, very simple, actually. Uh, it just wakes up the device. The device says, hey, Terminus, what's the next image? Uh, Terminus sends that JSON response down with a, a URL to the image, and then that renders on the device. And then you can just go through multiple screens that way. In terms of uh, web UI, uh, it's very simple at the moment. We're working on making this better and a better uh, uh, usability, uh, better pleasant experience for you to, uh, to, to use in your home server, which is a, a dashboard to kind of keep stats on things, uh, devices so you can actually look at the logs, edit them, delete them, add new devices, whatever. Um, there's also a little bit of a designer in there. This actually uses HTMX to do server sent events. So as you uh, modify your HTML code, you can see the new uh, screen render on the left-hand side. And then you can use that information to actually hit the screens API and uh, build a new image that actually gets sent to your device. So uh, new features are already uh, are being built uh, weekly. Uh, this is kind of basically my primary job. Uh, super excited to be working on this and actually being able to provide something that the community can really enjoy. Uh, thanks so much for letting me speak, and you can find the slides, and uh, feel free to reach out and contact me. I'm happy to talk more about this, so thanks.